All right, cool. So I had a question today come up about using the um, ArcGIS API for JavaScript with Vue 3. Um, we have plenty of samples out there using Vue 2 and stuff like that. So uh, I haven't really worked with Vue 3 too much. I did a, I've done a couple of Vue apps in the past. Uh, so I want to try it out. I do know there's a, an issue if you try to use, um, you try to wrap um, uh, modules from the ArcGIS API, uh, JavaScript API with Vue 3, kind of like state management that it does. Uh, Vue 3 uses proxies and our uh, modules, the way that we have uh, accessors set up, uh, don't quite work with it yet. We're, we're, we're working on it. It's, it's, a, it's one of uh, our line items in our roadmap to try and fix at some point so it'll work um, with proxies in general. Like if you wrap something with a JavaScript proxy, um, no, it's not exactly a priority at the moment, but it's something that we are aware of and we're looking at, right? So I'll try that out. So I don't do that. And I, I never really recommend that people do do that, uh, typically. Uh, I, but again, I don't know. Um, I haven't tried the view store thing or anything with view three, so I'm not sure how that all works, but let's get started here. Uh, I'm going to reference this app to pull some code from this, is just an old, um, view app that I had done a long time ago. So if I go to where we're we going here, so this is view three doc. Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right. It's view three doc. All right. So I go to the guide here. Uh, how do I install? Where's installation? Here we go. Installation. So we're, we're going from scratch here, people. All right. So, uh, view next. Oh, I thought it was a different one. Hi, where's the view CLI? Okay. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the view CLI. So, okay. So I'm not going to install anything globally. I'm kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want to install anything. Uh, so at view CLI create, uh, JS API view. Is that right? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, need to, yeah, I don't care. Go ahead. Do your thing, man. It still installs it, but now I just, I don't know. I don't know why I did NPX. I could have just installed globally. That's fine. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. So let's get this thing going. Uh, maybe I should have done this before I started the stream, but it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to, we're going to get this party started. All right. So, uh, I want to use view three. Okay. Preview, I guess. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, it's kind of a, oh, that's a really cool little, uh, emoji of the using there for initializing gear repository. I don't think I've seen that one before. Nice. I've seen stars, seen the gear, but that's cool. Fancy emojis in my, uh, terminal. I don't mind. And nothing against it. Okay, so let's go into CD, JS API, view. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, VS Code for this just because uh, it's a little easier to work with. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. I really like this feature in uh, Pop! OS where it's got this, like I can have tabbed uh, windows in here. That's pretty nice. Uh, okay, okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. I'm hoping this is fine. People can see this. So, all right. So let's go ahead and uh, install the API. I'm not going to do next. I'll just do regular ArcGIS core. Let's get that going. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to rename a hello world to um, web map like so. I should update this one. Oh, I want to install. As you can see, I don't really use Vue, so I don't, uh, yeah, I don't have any of the extensions installed or anything in here. Okay, so that works. That works. All right, looks like everything's working now. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, update. Oops, let's update some code here. So change that to web map. Web map. And web map. There we go. All right. So before I start anything else here, so I want to have a HTML body. I always fix CSS. I don't know why. Um, I mean, I guess I know why no one else does this. Um, but I, in order for the uh, map in the JavaScript API to show up, you need to have like, uh, either a defined width for where you're going to put it or the body of the page has to be a hundred percent uh, height, at least, I believe it's, uh, yeah, one of those, uh, turn off padding. 
All right, so let's get rid of padding and get rid of margin. Because, yeah, no need that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and update this. I don't need no image up in here. Let's turn this into a web map. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's come over here. Let's look at uh, js.com. I'm um, going to go ahead and grab a, a web map ID from somebody. Let's go steal one. So, okay, let's take this one. This looks cool. All right, let's explore this. Blah, blah, blah. All right, give me this ID. That's all I care about. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pass. Um, I'll leave that as message, I guess. We'll pass this web map ID to that um, web map component that we're going to make in view, right? So, this all looks good. Okay, I'm going to keep this open for a second because. Now I need to go into this web map view here. I don't, all this. I, don't, I don't need all this stuff, man. Relax, man. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Man, this is a lot of work. Just updating code, deleting things and stuff. I mean, it's pretty much my day. It's not a lot of work. I'm, just, I'm lying. It's easy stuff. Come on. All right, so let's rename this. Now, I would have just done this in Vim, but it is a little easier for me to kind of navigate around at least um on camera uh using um vs code i don't need to embarrass myself you guys watch all my uh vim issues so let's try and do something so i'm gonna go ahead and import the css for the api all right don't forget you no longer need to copy the assets holder over when building your app so you just pull the css from the cdn and you're good to go um all right what else do i need to do here okay and the script tag i need to do something here so all right let's just go ahead and da -da -da, see if this will work for me here so i'm gonna go to import oh no ah, rah, rah, rah. okay let's put call arcgis map because I already have a component called web maps, so I can't necessarily pull a uh, web map. All right, so ArcGIS core web map. It's import a view. Now, this is a little different than what I would normally do if I were to. Um, oh, hold on a second here. You know, I forgot to update the thumbnail again, and I made one too. Oh my god. I forgot to update the thumbnail for this live. Uh, again, uh, can I change it? Manage? No, I can't. It's going to have me exit the stream. I don't want to do it. I'll change the thumbnail later. Don't even forget. Because I will forget. That's what I do. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. Distracted. Okay. ArcGIS core views map view. All right. There we go. Bam. Okay, okay. So there's my map view and stuff. So now what I want to do. Uh, I think I need a mounted or yeah, it's something mount mounted. Let's come over here. Components. How do I do it here? For the web map view. Uh, yeah, I make an async mounted in here. So I don't even need it to be async really. Uh, let's just make it mounted. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it to be async at the moment. <laughs> it would be if I were to do something like a dynamic import, like I'm doing it here, but I've already imported the modules up here. So I think we're okay. Uh, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create my map. So my map is going to be const map is equal to new web map. No, it's not. ArcGIS map because I'm not calling it web map. I probably should cut, should have called this thing like web map view. Normally that's what I call my components when they are going to contain a map. I'll call them web map view, but I don't know what I did this time. This is my bad. So uh, this dot uh, message, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, wait. ID this dot message. There we go. Okay, so that's what the, the message is supposed to be. I don't think this works in a no. That's TypeScript thing. Uh, okay, this should be fine. And now I'm going to say that my view is going to be equal to a new map view, and this view here is going to take my uh, my map, and the container is going to reference this element, which would be. In view, it's this dot uh, el right there, right? And then just so it's not an unused variable, I typically will just do a view dot win. 
And it's a logout console.log. Are you ready? Okay, so let's just, uh, I'm, okay, I'm gonna make this, um, man, this text is big here. Okay, okay. All right, all right, calm down. Give myself a little bit of room here. All right, let me just double check everything. So there's my web map, there's my app view. I didn't mess with the main file because I don't really care what that's doing. Not messing with Babel config. I'm not messing with anything. I just added my, uh, web map view, change that name, and that's it. And change that here. Uh, okay, so what do you, what's the commands here? Uh, serve it is. Yeah, that's right, serve. What do you think the possibilities are if this is going to work the first time? If this works first time, I'm going to be ecstatic because nothing ever works first time, right? Uh, and notice I didn't go with TypeScript in this, but um, what's cool with the view CLI, which I, defound, I found here, is that if you come up over here, where is it? Search. So if you search TypeScript here, they make adding TypeScript support super easy in here, right? With the Vue CLI anyway. I'm in the wrong doc for, I think I want the Vue CLI doc. Uh, I think this, yeah, that's where I was before. The Vue CLI plugin for TypeScript, right? So this is super cool here. What you do is you just add TypeScript and it, when you add it with the view command, uh, it's going to ask you a series of questions like, do you want to convert everything to the uh, TypeScript and stuff? But you should commit all your changes first because it is going to revert everything back to its original state. So if you have like an app view, it's going to make it like a, it's going to overwrite whatever you've got. Uh, like if I had this hello world view, it would overwrite my hello world and all that nonsense, right? So, okay, so let's uh, go copy this here. Localhost 8080. What? So I want. Eighty eighty. Nope. Let that work. Oh, not Jesus. Wait. Did I can't I cancel out of that really? I did not know I did that. All right, let's do this. I didn't realize I I closed that. So cross my fingers here. This is gonna work. Waiting for update signal. I don't think so. The body is there. Oh, this app. Okay, so this. Send me about the CSS stuff here. So let's add this. Let's copy all this. Bam, here. Oh, look, it's got margin here too. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Okay, okay. So that's, I needed that. Okay, come on. This should work now. All right. App. Why is this so small? Uh, This div. Okay, so let's do this. Let's give this, come over here. Uh, let's give this div a uh, class name. Class is going to be equal to map view. I'm not going to count that as not working. Um, I'm going to say that that still technically is working. It's just I didn't add some CSS. There are no errors, which means that it works. So don't add me. Let's do height 100%. If I want it to be like legit with this app i would do some like uh flex box or something like that you know css grid uh, let that do the, the work for me but it's okay this is cool and there we go look at that bam so i've got my uh arcgis api for javascript working inside a view cli app i didn't change any configuration for view at all i didn't touch the Babel. i didn't uh touch package json or then install the api uh, I only created one more file and updated references to that file in the map view. Or not the map view, this uh, app.view, right? That's confusing. Map view, view. Oh, jeez, man. All right, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you can get that going. And uh, view is pretty nice. And like I was saying before, I really like the fact that when I tried it earlier, um, I was able to just do this TypeScript upgrade and everything just kind of worked which is really nice. And pretty much all this needs to do is it needs to convert 
uh, add a, a lang equals TS right here, but then you have to have a, a TS config and stuff, and it will create that for you, which is really nice. It does all the work. So if you want to move to TypeScript, uh, like I said, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, the only thing you need to remember is that it will overwrite the app.view uh, file, at least it did in my case. And I had left the hello world view, I edited it to show a map, and it overwrote the hello world uh, .view file for me, uh, which I was like, oh, that sucks. I had to kind of rewrite that again when I tested this earlier. But it's okay, no big deal at all, right? So it just works, man. I'm telling you, the view is, is kind of nice. I like view, all right? It's a pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. I, what I like about view is this whole like all in one kind of thing, right? And I, I don't know, I, I dig it. I dig the fact that I can create a template up here. Uh, have my my script tag in here and it looks very familiar you know it's like uh, if you're writing like a single page app kind of a thing um this is kind of like how i liked working with some of the ember stuff early on where you had everything like in a single file or you could anyway um and ember is even like more split up now and everything but still pretty pretty nice i, I dig that um i think um angular is very similar in this way except your template file kind of lives somewhere else but uh, I think pretty much you write all your code in your de uh, decorators in Angular. So, but yeah, you get the idea. So, if you're interested in trying to view out with the JavaScript a API, it works. Like I said, the one thing I don't know is going to work 100% is it'd be doing kind of like, um, I don't know how view handles state management these days. Uh, if I come over here, uh, I don't know, uh, provide inject, is that it? I really couldn't uh, couldn't tell you. Uh, I have to look at how Vue does a state management here. I've used the Vue store before, which I used in this project in here. Which uh, let me double check what it was called. Uh, that'd be my package JSON. Just to give you an idea. No, what was it called? Um, da -da -da. Uh, Vuex. I've used Vuex before uh, for my state management with Vue apps. So I don't know what the standard state management is with Vue 3, but I know it, uh, they use proxies and stuff, which kind of can have some issues with the API. But like I said, it's on our radar, something that we're working on. Hopefully it'll get fixed in the future at some point. No dates, I don't know, so please do not ask me. Right? I'm not, I'm not even working on that stuff, because that's pretty hard for. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover today. That was pretty quick. Man, I thought this thing was going to be broken left and right, and I have to do all kinds of troubleshooting and debugging, but, you know, either view is just that good, or I am. What do you think? Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Appreciate it.